Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to do the most basic sewing stitch, which is running stitch, um, to sew your pieces onto your background. So hopefully you've already threaded up your needle in whichever chosen thread you want to use, and you've put a knot in the end. So, um, and I also wanted you, oh, you're going to need that, you're going to need a pair of fabric scissors, you're also going to need a glue stick, your felt pieces with your pattern pieces still on them. That's really important. I hope you didn't pull those apart. They should be still there. And your background piece. I'm just going to bring this out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So what you need to do is uh, you need to work out whether you need to sew any pieces on top of each other. So this blue goes on top of this white. So I need to sew this onto my white section first. And then when I've sewn that on then I'm going to sew it onto here okay so when I sew it onto here obviously I'm going to go around all the way around the edge so I'm not going to sew that now but the bit I do need to sew is the bit that goes across the middle okay because that doesn't need to go through the purple it just needs to hold this on so there's a little bit of um, sorting out what you need to do so I'll just go through that again when we put these two on we want to sew all the way around but we don't need to sew through all three layers across the middle. I can just sew this across here. And then when I've done that, put it on here and then go all the way around because this whole thing needs to be glued on. I don't want to sew across here and then sew again to sew the white, the whole thing onto here. So you've got to sort of work out what you need to sew. All right, so I've left the paper patterns on. There's a reason for that is that the side with the paper patterns on them actually has glue on it. And this one's still a bit wet. I only just cut it out and you can see the glue. We don't want that facing upwards because that's going to attract dirt and get really yucky. So I need to make sure that when I pull the pattern piece off, and this one was done last week, and you can probably hear or see that it's sticking a little bit. So pull that off. And the side with the glue is the back. So that needs to go down like that. Side with the glue is the back. Okay, now because this one already has glue on it, I'm going to use a little bit more glue to stick this onto my white background. So instead, normally we would use a pin, but the glue works just fine. And I've made sure that that's, that gluey side is that way. Because as I said, it's going to attract dirt and get really Yuck, if we don't do that. All right, the next, oh, the next thing you also need is you also need a fine liner. And the reason we're using a fine liner is we're going to put a sewing guide on your thumb so that you know how wide to make your stitches. And we use our thumb because normally when we're sewing, we hold our work between our thumb and our finger, and we just put a little, a little guide on our thumb so we know where to put our needle in and where to put our needle out. So I'm just going to show you, and I'll come around and mark those on your thumb, Okay, so that's how wide our stitches are going to be. And I'm just doing that there because that's where I'm holding my work. Okay, oops. Can you see that? All right, it'll be all clear in a minute. All right, so when we are sewing a running stitch, we always start, make sure you've got a knot in there, we always start at the back of our work because we don't want to see that, we don't want to see that, um, let me just get this right under there. There we go. We don't want to see the knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the back and I'm making sure just inside from the edge. I don't know whether you can see that. It's a bit hard on this blue. I probably picked the worst colour to start with. So I'm just going to show, sew this down and I'll, it'll be much clearer when we get to the white section. So I'm line, lining up my thread with that black stitch, with that black marker and I'm going to put my needle in level with the other marker. Now don't poke it through too roughly because you don't want to pin yourself on the other side. Okay, now as I said, that was the worst colour I could have chosen because I've got blue thread. So I'm going to show you how to sew using that the running stitch on this white section. So I put my piece down where I think it needs to go. My thread suit through the back, so I'm going to push my needle through the back so it's all out through the back, okay? 
Now what I do, I'm going to line my first marker up with the last thread stitch I did and I'm going to bring my needle at the back and it's going to come out level with that black marker there. Can you see that? Alright. Now I'm going to move my thumb up so that my marker is now lined up with the thread. Oops. My marker is now lined up with the thread. Can you see that? And I'm going to put my needle in level with the second marker. And that's going to give me a stitch. Oh, let's have a, a stitch that's the length of that. Can you see that? All right. Now I'm going to move up a little bit. So now this black marker is level with this stitch here. And I'm staying the same width around the edge. And I'm just using that little stitch there. Okay, put it on there. And I'm going to go in on that one. And I'm also trying to stay the same distance from the edge as I go around. If it's a bit wonky to start with, don't worry. So line up the black marker with the end of the last stitch. Can you see that? End of the last stitch there. And the, the trick, and you'll get better at it, is working out where the, where the needle is at the back. That takes a little bit of time. So I actually have my finger, I don't really see my two fingers are lined up either side. And that kind of helps me because I know that this finger is close. And you can wiggle it around and bring it through. Okay. And I'm just going to progress along like that. Make sure you don't sew yourself. And just going in. If you accidentally forget and do this, uh-oh, got a loop. That's not good. So what you do is you take your needle out of your thread. Take your needle out of your thread. Pull the thread out. And you're going to have to sew up. Uh, re-thread your needle. So the way you re-thread your needle is just fold your thread. Let me move this out the way. Fold the end of the thread over your needle. Pull it. Oops. Pull it tight. Pull it tight. Squeeze it between your fingers. See my threads in there. And then I just put the eye of my needle over the top and it should push through into the eye. It's got nowhere else to go really. And then grab it. And we just continue along like that and you should get fairly even sewing through it. So keep moving your thumb up, push it in level. Oh now the other thing I should show you there I was getting down to the stage here with these two threads a level. So what you don't want to happen is as you're sewing, at the moment I've got one thread coming out of the sewing. You don't want two threads. See, I've got that and I've got the tail poking through. And at this side, I've got two threads coming through. See, I've got two threads. As soon as you get those two threads, you just pull on your needle and make sure that tail is out. You only want to be sewing with one thread at a time. So let me show you that again. I'll pull this down a little bit. So if you pull through and you've got two threads, see here there are two threads coming out of your sewing. See there, I've got two threads. You never ever want two threads. Just yank on the needle until you've just got one. Can you see that? Now we're coming back to where we started. Just tuck that little tail underneath. We don't want that poking out. And I'm going to go around onto the navy blue side now, so it's going to be really hard to see. But I haven't sewn this edge yet. I've only sewn across here. So I can keep going and sew my whole shape down. And when you finish, you want to finish at the back. And you can see I've got a nice neat circle of stitches at the back. 
right, they just go around my shape. The stitches that come across here are only going through the white layer. All right, so how do you finish this off? Okay, so what you do on the back is you make, just pick up a little bit of the purple felt. You don't want to pick up much. And do a little stitch and do another little stitch. And if you can, see that loop there? Just put the thread through the loop and pull it tight. Okay, and leave a long thread on the back. That's not going to come undone and it's going to be tucked inside your softie so no one's going to see that. So that's how you sew on your shapes with nice even running stitches using that little thumb guide. Okay, alright guys, let's see how you go.